ask Tom on home show. Lewis from Galveston has ghostly shadows. Yes, they're on the wall mm. and the ceiling of his friend's townhouse, and they look mm. something like this. And uh, as you can see, you can if you can see the shadows he's talking about, and there's one going down the corner behind the TV as well. So I saw that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Lewis writes. I think these shadows may be called ghosting. I know they're that they, my friends here upgraded their air conditioning tonnage about four years ago, and that's when the shadows started to appear. The other issue is soot that covers electrical plates, carpet, and so on. It looks like there is a spark or something there, but it's airborne, if that makes any sense to you. Tom, what, what do you think is causing this? I, I, I wish I could ask him some questions. The ceiling looks like a moisture issue. Uh, I'm curious if it's an enclosed attic, but they said four years ago they changed the air conditioning system or the heating system, whatever the case may be. But if this is happening all year, it can't be a furnace issue. Uh, so I'm wondering if there's some kind of moisture problem up there. And the only way to know is to get up there and take a look and see if it's wet. If you notice, it's on all the tape joints. And anytime you have any little bit of water at all, it'll get down in that little groove where the tape are. And because the tape and the, and the joint compound is so thin, it'll bleed through real easily. It takes a lot longer to bleed through half-inch sheetrock. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But the word soot on the outlets if you can rub your finger over it, this is what I think. And I could be wrong, but this is what I really suspect. Someone in there has got a candle fetish and they're burning candles. And when you burn candles in a house and you do it for any length of time, and some people get in the habit of doing it all the time, and they're not a certain type of candle, which are the expensive ones nobody wants to burn. They only want to burn the, the ones that they and because obviously they burn away. Uh, it leaves soot in a house terrible. And the tighter your home, the worse it can be. And if it's soot, it's usually burning candles. And that would actually stick to the ceiling too. So what I'm wondering is if you go to the ceiling and you rub your hand across it and you see a stain on your fingers, it could be soot sitting there too. And it's just finding a place to, to collect. Maybe a combination of both. But I really, number one is I would make sure there's no candles being burned because that's a sign of soot in a home. And it loves to stick to things like refrigerator fronts, uh, electrical uh, cover plates, the plastics and the metals. It'll stick right to it and you can wipe it right off and it's nasty. So that's the number one thing. Number two is I would have someone go up in that space if they can get up in that attic and find out if there's a water problem. Because one of the things that really bothers me about this picture, and this picture bothered me really badly, is it's seeping down the wall. And that seems to me a moisture issue. Now, could it be the air conditioning system sweating on the refrigeration lines or the ductwork sweating and starting to create a real moisture problem up there? It could. And could it be a combination of the two things I just talked about? And I think it's going to be something close to that. So the if it is the AC and it's sweat, sweating, you're saying that it's the moisture is being released into the air and it's just soaking in or it's coming through? I think it's dripping rock, and it's moving around. It's dripping and it's sitting all the joints. And it's. I find it. it's very, uh, there's a good chance it's over there where you see it going down the wall. It's going to start over there. So if, if, if I was going to write them back on an email, I would say, number one, do you burn candles? If you do, please stop immediately. That's what the soot problem is from. It's very common with people who burn on a regular basis. Their answer could be, no, I don't burn candles. That's fine. They don't even have to write us back. And secondly, I would definitely have the people who install the air conditioning system or another contractor, if you don't like them, to come out, make sure there's no sweating issues or moisture issues up in the attic. That is not from a furnace. That is from a uh, wetness, it sure looks like to me. And someone needs to investigate that wetness. And if it's being fed a high humidity, it could be a mold issue happening on the other side. But there's no way to know because the picture's on the inside. I'd like to see the picture on the backside too. And if they can't get to it, I would actually drill, take a hole saw, and I would drill out some sheetrock holes in the bad areas and look at it. It's so easy to have someone come in and patch it. 
if they're going to fix it, they're going to have to paint it anyway. Mm. So let's you know, fix the holes and you paint it, texture it and paint it. But I would do some investigation and I wouldn't let it go four years. I wouldn't let it go four months. I would start on it in February since that's when it is right now. Would you, um, would you put a moisture meter, uh, what do you call it, hydrometer? Would that tell you if there's a moisture issue or, or? You can use all kinds of these infrared guns and stuff. And it could say, yeah, there's moisture there. Well, why? I need to get up in there. I need to know how much. I need to know yeah. how, how destroyed the sheetrock is. The only way to really know, and, and people come in, these guys, these inspectors come in with these infrared guns and stuff and say, oh, look, there's a little red spot there. That's moisture there or something of that nature. And it, it's so what? It's baloney. It could be, you know, bird droppings for all I know, and it's just going to go away. I don't know what it is. The only way to know is stick your finger in it if you want to know if it's I wet you need to it. visually see it and you need to touch it and sure you can use moisture meters but i want to know if what's there and i want to see it dom has said stick your finger in it for as long as i've known him and that's coming up on 30 years so all right yes it's it, time tested tom tynan principle stick your i finger can in say it. this we had a guy come into a house that was built and had all the fancy equipment and said Oh, yeah, there's mold everywhere. I cut a hole in there. I stuck my finger in it. It was dry as a bone. The piece I took out, they sent back to the lab. They spent all this money. Yeah, there's no problem. Why? I knew there was no problem because I stuck my finger in it. They don't call him Thomas for nothing. <laughs> yes. That's right. Doubting well, Thomas. All right. <laughs> you want to get your question answered, go to visit homeshowradio.com. Go click on that blue Ask Tom button. And when you fill it out, it'll take you to this page where you can either send us a picture like Lewis did or a video like we have uh, somebody a little later this week is doing that. And uh, we'll answer your question. We post a new answer every day at homeshowradio.com, our uh, YouTube channel, and on our Facebook page. If you're following us on Facebook, we appreciate it. If you're not, what are you waiting for?